So one of the key concepts that I think we should throw our arms around as business owners is that one of customer lifetime value. Because all too often what I see is businesses taking a transaction mentality to their interactions with, uh, with I'm going to say customers, but maybe just shoppers, people who have only just bought once from you. Um, and the way to building a long-term, sustainable, profitable business is really taking the mindset of how can I help this customer again and again and again so that we ha build up lifetime value for both the business and also the customer. And I can illustrate this through uh, an example I had a couple of years ago. I've got this picture here to remind me of my example, and that was when I went to send a bunch of flowers to my mum for her birthday. And the conversation was very much a transaction conversation where I phoned up the florist who I would had chosen on Google because they looked like they were the best or at least had the most Google reviews. They didn't actually have all that many, but everyone else didn't have any. Um, and the conversation was very much a case of, I want a bunch of flowers, how much do you want to spend? I said the, the amount, when do you need it by? To who, what's the message? Job done. Flowers arrived, everyone's happy. Or are they? Um, because actually I could have been a lot happier and the, the, um, the florist could have been a lot happier because I think there was value sitting on the table that was left there. Because if the florist had said to me, look, whilst we're on, do you mind if I ask a couple of quick questions? At the time I would have said, yeah, happy to. You know, is this for a significant birthday? As it happens, it was. Um, are there any special events uh, going on in your family soon? Uh, again, as it happens, there was. There's a big anniversary for my mum and dad. So, and so on. Now, the, the script, and I put that in inverted commas, but the conversation from the florist could have been, look, we get an awful lot of guys phoning us, and one of the things that they tell us is, wouldn't it be helpful if I could just automatically send flowers? So look, if you want, what we could do is take the details down for some of these significant uh, moments or birthdays, and if you want, we could get in touch with you maybe a week before and just uh, confirm what arrangements that you'd like, and we can get all that taken care of for you. Would that be helpful? Now, again, we would tighten up on that script clearly as a florist, and there might be better ways to ask the question. But this idea of, yeah, actually, that would be really helpful for me because I could automatically know that I could just get things done because it's a hassle. I'm a busy guy, you're busy people. Uh, if someone can take away that hassle for the thing I actually will be doing anyway, then I'd love that. So, just for the sake of a few questions, that florist could probably have had at least another few orders from me, you know, probably within the, the six month period following that call. So that's what I mean by customer lifetime value. And again, remember, that then would have been the florist I would use ongoing because I've built to an extent a relationship with them. They've been helpful to me. So just a thought, are you looking at things from a lifetime value point of view or are we just dealing in the here and now in terms of the transaction? There you go. I'm sure you can apply that almost small, silly example of a florist to your business and what might that do for you if you open the conversation out and change the thinking to long-term customer value. Hope that's helpful for you just now. All the best in business.